I'm Brenda Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to show you how to make this pretty pocket card using the Special Reason Bundle. Now this bundle comes with two things, the Special Reason Stamp Set and the Stylish Stems Framelits. And when you buy them together, you can save 10%. Now this card is really cool because it has a little window for the greeting. So this little greeting down here says, there's no special reason for this card, but when you pull the insert out, it says, except to let you know how special you are. And the thing I love about the special reason stamp set is that it has more than one greeting that you can put in these two spots. So it's really useful for this type of card. This little flower right here is made with the stylish stems framelits. Then I've just added a little silver spark to the center. Isn't this just an adorable card? So why don't we get started so I can show you how to make it. To start off with you're going to need your Simply Scored scoring board and you're going to need a piece of sweet sugar plum cardstock and I've cut this piece to eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. I'm going to put the long side up at the top of the scoring board and I'm going to score at the four inch mark and the 8 inch mark. So before we score this cardstock on the other side I want to make sure that we turn it the right direction. So this side right here has kind of a skinny scored piece on the right side. I want you to put that side up at the top and then we're going to score at the half inch mark and for the next mark we're going to score it a little bit differently. We're not going to score it all the way through. We're going to score at the four and a half inch mark but we're just going to come down till you hit the second score line. So you're going to go through that first one and then down to the second one but we're not going to go down all the way to the bottom. So next we're going to need the Big Shot and we're going to use the magnetic platform because it makes positioning the framelits a little easier. And I've got my Sweet Sugar Plum piece here again. I've got it so that there's a skinny scored side on the left and a skinny scored side at the bottom. And then we're kind of left with this score line that comes only part way and so that's how I want you to orient it. So we're going to put this on our magnetic platform and we're going to use the layering ovals framelits and we're going to need the fourth largest oval and we're going to need the smallest oval. The fourth largest oval is going to come right up at the top and I'm going to center it on what will be my card front. Then I'm going to put the smallest oval framelit right underneath it. So let me hold this up to the camera so you can see it a little bit better. So this is what's going to be my card front right here. This skinny segment on the side is going to be a tab so you're going to ignore that. So you're going to center it between the two score marks and the edge of your framelit is going to be right up at the top. Then about half an inch below that you're going to have the smallest oval framelit. Once you've got that positioned right, you're going to run it through the Big Shot. And here's what it looks like. Here's the piece we just cut with the Big Shot and I'm going to bring in this piece which is kind of a template to show you how we're going to cut apart this card. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tackle this top part of the card. So I'm going to come from the side and I'm going to cut along the score line like this and then I'm going to come around here to the other side and I'm going to cut along the score line just until I hit that middle score line and then I'm going to come over on the other side and I'm going to cut down until they connect like that. This is going to be the top of the pocket card. Then we're going to come over here to the side and I'm going to cut away this little square down here and if you want you can refer to this little template here and I'm just going to cut away a little bit more than just the square. I'm going to angle cut just a little bit to help my tabs fold in when I create the pocket like that. And then I need to cut away this piece over here. I'm going to create a little bit of an angle here so my tab can fold in nicely. Cut up like that. And then I'm going to cut along the score line here. Just 
just until I connect up with that other cut. So this is what it looks like now. And so while I have it on this side, I'm going to go ahead and put some tear and tape on my tabs. So I'm just gonna run it along this tab right here and give it a little tear. And I'm gonna run it along this tab here. and give it a little tear. Then I'm gonna fold this piece along the score lines. So let's do the tabs. And then let's also do this center piece like that. Before we adhere everything together, I wanna line this back piece here. I'm gonna use a piece of 2016 2018 in color paper and this one is the striped one in sweet sugar plum and I've cut this piece to four inches by five inches. On the four inch side I cut it just a little bit shy of the four inches so it fits perfectly but before you glue it on just make sure it looks good on this piece and that this pocket will have enough space to bend. If it looks good then you can go ahead and adhere it. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of Tombow to do that. I'm gonna run it along the edge and a little bit in the center. And then I'm just gonna line it up. This piece should fit almost exactly onto the back piece like that. And then all we need to do to finish off the pocket is to take the liner off And then I'm just going to stick these to each other first, and then I'm going to fold this pocket inward. Like that. So there's the pocket piece finished. Now let's create the insert piece. For that, you're gonna need a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I've cut this piece to three and three quarter inches by four and seven eighths inches. I'm going to tuck this piece inside my card and I'm gonna make sure that it's centered so that there's equal distance on the top and on the sides here. Then I'm going to take my Wild Wasabi ink pad and open it up. And I'm going to take the smallest leaf from the Special Reason stamp set and I'm just going to stamp it over on the left side just kind of indented off the oval here. And I'm gonna stamp two more leaves, one kind of down here, and one just a little bit up from there. These two leaves will overlap a little bit. Then I'm going to take my Rich Razzleberry ink pad, and I'm going to take my first greeting, which is the one that says, there's no special reason for this card and I'm gonna ink it up in the Rich Razzleberry. Now, if your greeting was gonna be really tight in this window, I would trace this window with a pencil and pull it right out of the card and stamp it outside of the pocket. But with this particular greeting, it fits nicely within the oval, so I can stamp it while it's in the pocket. So I'm just gonna center it over that hole and then I'm going to stamp my greeting in the hole like that. Now we also wanna stamp the second greeting. So I'm gonna take my pencil and make a little tiny pencil mark right at the edge of the oval. And I'm doing that so I'll know where to put my second greeting. I don't want it to be peeking out beyond that pencil mark. So I'm gonna take the second part of my greeting, and in this case I'm using except to let you know how special you are, and I'm gonna ink that up. So I'm just gonna make sure I can see that pencil mark, and then stamp my greeting right below it like that. Then you can tuck this back inside your card pocket, and you can set it aside while we die cut our flower. So to die cut the flower, you're gonna need a scrap piece of sweet sugar plum and a scrap piece of rich rosalberry. And you're going to need the detail of the smallest flower and the outline of the smallest flower. 
So we're going to put the outline of the smallest flower on the sweet sugar clump piece. That's going to be the background of the flower. And then we're going to put the detail on the rich raspberry piece. And let's go ahead and run that through. Okay, we're done with this piece, so I'll set it aside. And then this piece, I'm just going to remove, and you can see it has die cut the pieces. Let me just pop these out. They come out really easily. And see, it's kind of left a negative image. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come around with the outline piece and actually turn it into a detail piece. So I'm going to put this piece back on the Big Shot. And I'm going to take my outline again and I'm going to fit it around the outside of the flower. So make sure that it's got equal distance all the way around the flower so that it cuts out correctly. Then I'm going to take my second plate and put it on top and then we're going to run it through. And here's the detail flower piece cut out. So here are the two flower pieces. And before you do anything, make sure how they fit together. When you see that they fit together perfectly, you're going to put Tombow on the back of the detail piece. I'm just going to hit the outer edges a little bit just so it sticks down. And then I'm going to position it right over top of my outline piece like that. Then we can bring in the pocket card again and we're going to use dimensionals on the back of this flower. Just going to put two on the back of here and then just remove the backings. And then I'm going to just kind of center it like that. Then we're going to take some sweet sugar plum ruched ribbon. And I've already cut my piece of about 13 inches. And I'm just going to wrap this around the card. I want to kind of tie it over on one side. I'm going to tie a little knot right down here at the bottom. Then I'm just going to trim off the ends just a little bit. Like that. And then the last thing that I want to do to give this car just a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to take some silver sparkle dazzling details and I'm just going to add it to the center of my flower. Now this dazzling details is going to look fabulous but it's going to stay wet for a little while and that's why I'm putting it on last and then I'm going to set this piece aside and I'm going to let it dry for at least an hour maybe even a little bit more but it can just set up to dry like that. So there you go a really pretty pocket card and I've also made them in some other colors so you can see just how pretty they are. I always take a lighter and a darker color and here I've made one in flirty flirty Flamingo and Watermelon Wonder and the other one I've made in Tangerine Tango and Peekaboo Peach. You can also make this card with other stamp sets and this card I made using one of our celebration stamp sets. Um, this set is called Avant Garden and you can earn this stamp set free with a $50 order in my Stampin' Up! store until March 31st 2017. So once you have the basic of creating this pocket card you you can use different stamp sets to put greetings in here and different stamps and die cuts for the little topper piece. Don't you just think these are so pretty? All the supplies you'll need to make these adorable pocket cards are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now! If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out all the free with purchase tutorials available on my blog. The Sweet and Sassy Heart Boxes tutorial is just one of the exclusive tutorials that you can choose free with a minimum purchase in my Stampin' Up! store.